The Last Devil to Die, A Thursday Murder Club Mystery, Book 4, by Richard Osman, is the fourth installment in the series about a group of senior amateur sleuths who live in the peaceful retirement village of Cooper's Chase. In this book, the club members find themselves embroiled in a new mystery that combines historical intrigue with contemporary murder. The novel opens with the discovery of a body in a small village not far from Cooper's Chase. The victim, Bethany Waits, is a local historian who was passionate about the history of witch trials and, in particular, the last witch to be executed in England. During renovations at her home, a hidden diary is found, revealing details about the supposed last devil, a witch named Gabriella, who was hanged in the 17th century. Bethany had been researching Gabriella's story for years, intrigued by the idea that Gabriella might have been innocent and wrongfully executed. The members of the Thursday Murder Club, Elizabeth, Joyce, Ron, and Ibrahim, are as curious as ever and quickly take an interest in the case. Elizabeth, the former intelligence agent, uses her connections to learn more about the investigation. Joyce, the former nurse, adds her warmth and intuition to the group's efforts. Ron, the fiery former union leader, and Ibrahim, the retired psychiatrist, contribute their own skills and knowledge to the sleuthing endeavor. The plot thickens when they realize that Bethany's death might be connected to her work on Gabriella's story. While the police, led by DCI Chris Hudson and his partner PC Donna DeFreitas, focus on more conventional leads, the club members pursue their own line of inquiry. They unravel a complex web of relationships between Bethany and the other villagers that includes jealous academics, a secretive developer with plans to build on local land, and a viker who seems to know more than he's letting on. Joyce's blog entries, an endearing feature of the series, provide insights into her character and the group's dynamics. Meanwhile, Elizabeth uses her skills to manipulate events from behind the scenes, setting up meetings and uncovering hidden secrets through a combination of charm and strategic thinking. Ron's stalwart personality and no-nonsense attitude help the club cut through the noise, and Ibrahim's analytical mind assists in dissecting the psychological aspects of the crime. As the story unfolds, it becomes apparent that the history of witch trials is more than just a historical curiosity, but rather a critical element of the mystery. The Thursday Murder Club discovers there may be a connection between the last witch executed and a curse that has plagued the village for generations. Some villagers harbor superstitions and fears that link current events to the dark past, and these beliefs play a significant role in the unfolding events. With their usual blend of humor, empathy, and intelligence, the club members navigate through a series of clues and red herrings. They uncover the truth behind both Bethany's death and the historical injustice that has cast a shadow over the village for centuries. They encounter threats and face danger, but their unyielding determination and friendship see them through. The novel highlights themes of redemption, the power of legends, and the impact of history on the present. It asks questions about guilt, innocence, and the legacy of past wrongs. The characters confront personal challenges and ethical dilemmas as they reckon with the moral ambiguity of their actions in the pursuit of justice. As the investigation comes to a close, the Thursday Murder Club delivers a satisfying solution to the mystery. They piece together the evidence that leads them to Bethany's killer, whose motive for murder was rooted in a blend of personal vendettas, greed, and the deep-seated fears surrounding the village's history. In the end, the club's efforts restore a sense of justice and closure to the community, vindicating Gabriella's memory. They resolve the modern-day crime while shedding light on the misdeeds of the past, revealing the identity of the last devil to die and the true story behind the witch trial's legacy. The novel concludes with the group reaffirming their commitment to each other and hinting at future mysteries to solve, leaving readers eagerly anticipating their next adventure. Throughout the narrative, Osman's wit, humor, and affection for his characters shine through, providing a cozy yet intriguing mystery that delights both new readers and dedicated fans of the Thursday Murder Club series. The retirees' camaraderie, tenacity, and unique approaches to solving crimes make The Last Devil to Die a captivating addition to the charming, thoughtful, and engaging mystery series. 
You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.